Hey, Delish, it's Garcelle Beauvais. Welcome to my kitchen. So, this is my kitchen. I really wanted a white, bright, although I have two 14 year olds, but what are you gonna do? Well, the kitchen is my office and also my kitchen and we're, we're in a lot. This is where I do my Zoom meetings. Since 2020, we are Zooming it. I really love um, restoration hardware and this table I got from the restoration hardware outlet. And let me tell you, I got such a great price from this, I thought, Start the car, we gotta go. This is also restoration hardware at the outlet. You know, you don't always have to spend everything to get a beautiful look. At first, I had silver pulls, and I thought I needed a little more glam, so instead of obviously changing everything, I just got gold pulls and exchanged the silver. And that way it gave it a little bit of a zhuzhing. When I did the gold pulls, I realized, oh my God, it matches the gold and silver. I love mixing metals, so this is really up my alley. And also I have my smeg that I love because it's kind of old school, new school. We've been in this house going on, it's almost three years in November, actually, yeah. What attracted me to this house is I really love how open it is. My boys are now older, so I can have an adult household. <laughs> Before it was a lot of mac and cheese, goldfish everywhere, so, you know, you couldn't have a nice house. I love having people over. I have lots of family and friends, so when we're all here listening to music, hanging out, it's like my best life. If I could change one thing about my kitchen, what would it be? Um, I don't know, I like it. I love my kitchen. I don't think I'd change anything, honestly. Yeah, maybe two islands. Right here is my well-stocked bar. Again, I have two 14-year-olds. I would say probably in a year I'm gonna have to hide it. <laughs> right? Teenagers. We have everything from tequila to all of it. All of it's here in wine, so it's really fun. I love that you can see these are window cabinets. That way I can put sort of like my fancier, cuter things. Everything else is hidden. So my girlfriend turned me on to Mackenzie Childs and I am obsessed with the black and white of it all. I love cutting boards and cheese boards. So there's all kinds of shapes, sizes, and colors. At my house, you can always find an avocado. You can always find mangoes, being from Haiti and the islands, mangoes are big. And you can always find plantains at my house. It's a Haitian thing, what can I say? Those need to be eaten quick. I love coffee, but I don't have a coffee bar. So I just have a really nice coffee machine. There's not much to it. I said I had my Mackenzie Childs teapot, but I also have a teapot that I use every day. <laughs> How many teapots does a girl need? My favorite part of the kitchen would be this massive island. <laughs> I love how big it is. I love that I used a quartz with a little bit of veining because I wanted it to stand out but not be too busy because I think the food is what you really want to highlight, right, on an island. But I love it. My boys can do homework while I'm cooking. This is where we hang out a lot. Their friends are over a lot. They cook with their friends. It's really cool to see boys cooking with other boys. It's like, we've come a long way. My brothers used to just sit down and eat. <laughs> it's nice to see boys cook. I wanted a big fridge because of course, there's always a lot of people over. So I love, 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 love. I made lasagna yesterday. So the boys are going to their dad's and they want some to take there. So I've already prepared it for them to take. Um, lots of berries, lots of juice, Corona beer, that's for mom. <laughs> the Gatorades for the boys. Um, it's a little bit of everything, vegetables, broccolini. Uh, we have a steak that I'll hopefully cook tonight. You will always find in my fridge milk, butter, eggs, which is right behind me. But being Haitian, we have a thing called piklis. If you go to any Haitian person's house, you will find piklis. This is what we put on our food because we like it spicy. And it's just peppers and vinegar and a bunch of yummy stuff in here. So we always, I have two. <laughs> My favorite Haitian dish would have to be lumbi, which is a conch, and we cook it in a stew, and sometimes we add crabs to it. It is my favorite. And we have something called, it's, it looks like black rice, 
but we call it du riz à jonjon. And the jonjon is sort of like a dried mushroom. It is amazing. I think what makes Haitian food different from other uh, Caribbean cuisines is the fact that, I don't know, we make it with love, music, and drinks. <laughs> when we're cooking, we're drinking, we're listening to music, we're talking, we're laughing. That's part of the meal. I usually do rice and beans and I either do a steak stew or I do a chicken stew. I didn't realize I needed a double oven until I think it was Joanna Gaines that had double ovens and I'm like, if she's doing it, I need one too. So this is great for baking and cooking, whatever you want to do. Microwave, of course. And I wanted a wine cooler. So I wanted a wine cooler because one, I love champagne a lot. So we have a lot of champagnes. My co-host on The Real, Adrian, has a wine company so she sends me wine which is really really sweet i mean the wine's not sweet she's sweet <laughs> for sending it here i have pictures of my grandson oh my god i love him so much oj oliver jr my boys my other son with his entire family and uh let's go to the pantry this is my pantry i am organized which i like to be i feel like when you have an organized pantry you know what you have you know what you don't have the boys have their cereals we have vegetables rice everything is where it belongs so we kind of know and then growing up in haiti my grandmother had uh, a little store and in the store she had jars of candy so i've sort of done that to pay homage to my grandmother this right here this little cookie jar she has been with me longer than my older son. I've had this thing for so long. I don't remember where I got her, but I love her and she moves with me wherever I go. But uh, this is my pantry. This one's not from my question, though, but... Uh-oh. Uh if you have to preface it. Who has the worst kitchen out of the real house? I knew it! I knew it! Um, if I had to choose, who probably has the worst kitchen? I would say Rinna. And it's not that it's the worst kitchen, is Harry Hamlin loves that kitchen so much, he's not letting her do anything to it. So that's the only reason. I feel sad for you that you thought that in any way, you know what I mean? Oh, I don't think that's how you should put it but they cook really well. At least Harry Hamlin cooks really well. I have to say Hamlin, that's how she says his name, Harry Hamlin. Oh, that's a good one. Who's the most famous person that's been in this kitchen? I would say, who can I say? <laughs> Hold on. I guess the housewives, they've all been here. All the housewives have been in my house. All the housewives of Beverly Hills have been in my house. All right, if you can pick one person to have dinner, I would love to have dinner with Michelle Obama and then Brad Pitt if she's unavailable. Oh my, I would, no, I wouldn't make anything. I wouldn't cater it in. Are you kidding? It's Michelle Obama. So one of the really famous things in my house was when I had goldfish in that vase and I call them Dorit and Kyle. Can I introduce you? Please introduce the me. The black and white one is Dorit because look at her. Fabulous style. So fashionable. Right? The regular goldfish is Kyle. So now it's back to being a vase because, well, they both died. <laughs> it happens. They were goldfish. Thank you, Delish, for coming into my kitchen. I hope you guys had fun. I hope you were entertained. And I am promoting right now my new memoir, Love Me As I Am, it comes out April 12th. I hope you'll get it. It is really fun. There's some sad moments, there's some funny moments, and it's all my world and my life, so I hope you enjoy it.